What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. How cozy does this look right here? We've got the tail end of a small shower passing through. We've got our campfire burning. You can hear the waves lapping up against the sand. It is a, uh, it's a beautiful day out here for some exploration and that is exactly what we are gonna be doing today. We are gonna be crossing off the fourth and final island in the first ring around our homeland. So you guys know we started over here and then we went counterclockwise. We went there a couple episodes ago. We were over at L Island and now we are going to be crossing this bad boy off. He actually, I mean, he looks small from here, but I feel like he's the, the furthest distance away compared to all these other islands. So I feel like it might actually be a little bit bigger than we think. And we're just going to have to get over there to find out. So it's going to be fun cross that off the list so we can kind of move on to the next ring of islands and start getting further and further out. We're definitely going to dive whatever wrecks are over there. We're going to uh, hopefully not run into too many snakes, although you guys know in our last episode when we were prepping for the shark, we made some refined spears, so those might be a one-hit kill now. Uh, but I've already got my inventory all set up here. Check this out. This is smoked meat, fellas. I figured out what was wrong with the smoker here. So basically, back in episode one, Instead of refilling the first campfire that I placed, I put a second campfire down. So we've been loading up the wrong campfire. There are two of them here. There's one on the front side and then one you can kind of reach on the back side. I don't know. I, I figured it out. So we should be good going forward. And this meat here should last longer than average, which is exciting. So we're, um, we're, we're kind of in the tail end of this day here. It's 4.30 p.m. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're just going to get a good night's sleep. That storm just came through, so our plants and everything should be fully watered. We should be good to go on an adventure as soon as we wake up. I think the only thing we're going to have to do is watch our water. It's so like we'll, we'll drink a couple waters here. We're going to have to eat a little bit of food. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to wait here. Let's, let's just go ahead and save, and then we're going to sleep. We're going to wake up. We're going to have three pieces of food we can eat, some water we can drink, and then we can just bounce and get out there. What time is it? Let's see here. Looks like it's gonna be 1.45 in the morning. All right, it's gonna be a long day, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drink another another thing of water there. Looks like our food is, is pretty much good. Okay, I'm gonna say, let's just bounce, dude. Here we go, we're gonna go for it. Let's get after it. Get out there in the nighttime. I mean, technically, we, we could potentially bring one of our torches or something, but um, I feel like we should just go. Hopefully we don't step on any step on any poisonous starfish or anything, and here we go. So that is the island off in the distance over here. It's just behind this wreck. And uh, off we go, my man. Looks like we forgot to, to pick our bird snares there, but we're okay. So yeah, we're gonna sail over there in the dead of the night. Hopefully we can get there by morning. I do feel like it's a little bit further away, but I, I think it's manageable. I mean, it's, it's still very much within just kind of like normal eyesight, you know what I mean? I think there, I think you can make a monocle in this game, which would be useful to be able to see stuff farther off. But anyway, yeah, I'll let you guys know when we get there. Hopefully no big sharks come and check us out. That one dude tried to knock us off in the last episode was pretty scary, so. Anyway, I'll see you guys once we get there. So I can definitely see, I can see a shipwreck off to the right there. That thing is, is fairly far off the island. I thought about bringing our harpoon gun, but I'd rather save inventory space in case we can find some other good stuff. This thing actually, it, it does look like it's, it's pretty small. Um, that's honestly not even a bad thing. So we can set up our base camp over here so we have like all the, the necessities to be able to survive like we've always done before. Um, one thing I also wanna do, if we could do it in this episode, it'd be great, is I want to, to kinda set us up for a future episode of building a house. We need a ton of wood to be able to make a house. I don't really want to make it out of corrugated steel or anything like that because those that stuff's a little bit harder to find. So I feel like if we chop down a lot of these trees because this island's looking pretty weak, we could get a nice wood supply to be able to work on our house in the next couple of episodes and, and make something. So that could be cool. Dude, this is interesting. There's another little wreck out there. But it's not, hmm, we've got some pigs on the island. I see a bunch of rocks, so that's good. It's not nearly as big as I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing up on the beach. We've got crabs up here. Go ahead and drag it up. Some poisonous starfish, okay. 
So I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and drop all those, and then we got to find the one that has our stuff in it. There it is right there. So let's try, grab all that. We can go ahead and drop this. And then we're going to get our refined spears out. Hopefully these things take out the pigs pretty well too. Going to watch out for some snakes. You guys know we don't like those. Hmm. Barrels, more crabs. I mean, it's not a small island. But it's definitely... I don't know, it looked... Okay, here's the shipwreck back here. That's good. It looked like it was going to be bigger from further off. So interesting. Time is it? Dude, we still got plenty of time till daylight. We got like an hour or so. Let's just do our first sweep on the beach. I'm going to grab all the rocks and everything. By the time daylight comes out, we can start working in towards the, uh, the interior of the island. See if there are any snakes. Looks like we have two shipwrecks here. This should be solid, dude. I'm looking forward to this. Dude, this is 100% going to be called Crab Island. Look at all the crabs. I've never... Did I just hear a snake? I've never seen so many crabs on one island. Here's a hog. Could have sworn... Could have sworn I saw a snake. Or heard a snake. There's snakes! There's snakes! Okay. This sucks. I see you there. One hit KO! Let's go! I'm about to skin you up, you little... Sc scary demon thing that I really don't like. That absolutely scares the crap out of me and I... Act like a baby. Okay, so home is back that way. Always gotta remember to, to kind of have our bearings here. I guess it's always gonna be directly opposite of where we pulled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up... Uh, I'm gonna set up a little base, probably right here. Just kind of facing... Facing that way. So let's go ahead and craft a shelter right there. All right, looks good to me. So we got a, a place to save. We've got more rocks and stuff over here. Tarps, don't want to forget these things. All right, things are looking good. Oh, found a pee pee. Let's go, baby. I mean, we're already farming it, but might as well, might as well hold on to that for now. When you arrive on a new island and hit a yucca plant for the first time, it might give you yucca seeds which enable you to plant them. So we're gonna try to plant some yucca today. And then that way, I don't think we're ever gonna have to like, deliberately go to an island just to be able to get resources again. I think we're just gonna have unlimited, unlimited of these fiber sleeves. So if we could find that on the yucca trees, we'll be good to go. Aha! What's up? Oh, hey there. Come here often? Good night. Let's go, dude, that is so sick. Okay, I think, I'm hoping, that's it. These guys are just laying out on the beach tanning. Not today, fam. Now, I'm acting like I'm really cool and I'm getting the meat to be able to eat later, but the truth is I'm just scared of the snakes and I don't want to keep re-scaring myself every time I see their dead body. I think refined spears are our friends. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this meat off over here. Refined spears are definitely our friends. And I think we're gonna be taking these things everywhere we go from now on. So let's try to find... I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that's the last of the snakes. That should be, ideally. But let's try to find a yucca plant, a yucca tree. So you hit these. I was reading about this. I'm not sure how accurate it is. Okay, so I just did some research and uh, it's actually not in the current version of the game that we have. So this is kind of like one of those, not necessarily pre-access Steam games, but it's like, it's, it's just constantly in development. Like they're constantly updating the game. So this is like the, the latest stable version, which you guys can see it's, it's version 0.51. And um, they're up to a 0.53. And I, I did see on Steam the update and it was describing it the other day. It's like there, there's all kinds of, of changes to the UI. There's a new skill system. You can yucca farm and all kinds of stuff like that. But we have to update the new version. Now, I'm not sure if that save carries over. I, I mean, I would imagine it would. That makes the most sense to me, but I'm not 100% sure, which makes me a little bit nervous. So I think for the next episode, we may check that out. We may see if it carries over. I'm just gonna like copy files and make sure that nothing happens to our current world because that would be devastating. But um, yeah, we could potentially check that out. Maybe start doing some yucca farming and, uh, and see see how all of that shakes out. I think there's some new, they, they've added like hammerhead sharks, like four, four new types of sharks, 
all kinds of stuff. So it would be really, really cool if it ends up working out for us, but uh, I want to do some research and make sure that it won't end up messing our game up because we've got a, a good thing going so far. So I think we're, we're pretty solid here. I feel like we, we got a lot of stuff. Hit all three of the yucca plants. We've got all the little things all around the island. Most of them at least. We didn't get every single one of them. We could even grab some some um, coconuts if we wanted. But uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the stuff back to the raft. We're gonna drop it off and let's go, let's go diving, dude. Empty inventory, let's get it. Here we go. Okay, so our first wreck is gonna be over here. I don't even know if you can consider this a wreck. Oh shoot, is it getting dark already? No, it's not. I thought it was getting dark there for a second. I don't know if you could consider this a wreck, but it might sometimes, the, yeah, they've got boxes. Let's see what's in here. We've got a jerry can and a fishing spear. Don't mind if I do. Do we have anything else around here? Nope, nothing, okay. Well, that's, I mean, that's a good, that's a good start. We know we have two legitimate wrecks on this island. There's one on the opposite side and then one over on the right. So let's, I mean, I would say that we could drop this back off, but I think we've got plenty of space. Let's. Let's keep on running. We gotta make sure we take this dude out before we leave too. Makes me a little bit nervous going to this one. You guys know it's it's kind of a little bit farther out. Looks like we pretty much got a shallow spot to walk out to it though. I don't think the big boys are gonna come to here. But I guess technically you never know. This does not have a downstairs, I don't think. Can I get up there? Hello? Can I get up here? No. Nope. Looks like it might have a locker up here. A label maker. Now I can label things. And then we've got another jerry can. Those are useful. And then I know we had one up top here. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what's in it. Let's see what we have. Plank scrap, gyrocopter vehicle part, and a compass. All right. We'll go ahead and pick that up. So that's, uh, I think we left three open spots in our inventory when we came this way. We just got a couple new crates. So we've got room for one more crate. And we've got one more shipwreck to go. So here we go. Let's let's do it, man. We've got, nice. Okay. A couple of, couple of fuel cans. I'm excited about that. Eventually, once we start making some, some motors and needing gas and stuff. I think there's a way that you can make a, a still for gas to be able to make gas. I think it takes, like, clay and some other stuff. We're going to have to, to really get diving at some point in the future, dive down and get some clay. So let's see what we have going on in here. Nothing here. Nothing up top, I don't think. Nope. Let's see what's down here. Be able to pick, oh, let's actually, let's check it. Nothing really too interesting. Looks like there's a second one here. Ooh, cloth and a lashing and stuff. Okay, we'll pick that up. So we've got more, we've got more containers than things we can can hold. But that's fine. It's better to have more than less. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna rearrange some stuff, figure out what we actually want. We're gonna get a bunch of wood and then we're gonna sail back home. Now you guys will see here where, I mean, our water's low and our meat is low, so I think our health is gonna start ticking. I don't know how fast it goes because we've always taken better care of those. I mean, I, I kind of want to make a, a place to be able to, to, you know, get water and then also cook food here, but at the same time, that stuff always takes quite a few rocks. Both of them take rocks if you want to make like the good campfire. So I'd rather save our rocks. I feel like the rocks are kind of hard to come by. We got quite a few in this area. So let's bring them back so we can keep making stone tools and make more refined spears and stuff like that. And uh, we'll just have to remember that Crab Island here does not have what we need to be able to survive on our own. We're gonna have to, have to bring, bring other refreshments and stuff, I guess you could say. So let's start filling these up with all of our sticks. We're looking good here. Should uh, should be a good haul, and then, like I said, I think we're just gonna kind of kind of get out of here after we've filled up. I need to find something to eat. I'm so weak, dude. I feel bad. We lost one bar of health so far. That's honestly that's not too bad. I think we're gonna be able to just get in immediately, put some some meat on the fire, and and do our thing. I do feel a little bit bad that we we you know kind of let ourselves starve here, but. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's one thing in the update that I was telling you guys about. I think we're going to try to check it out next episode. I think they got rid of sleeping. You don't even have to sleep anymore, which is really nice. I mean, it's not really realistic, 
but it's nice if we can just kind of go out and do our thing and not worry about that, only worry about food, but anyway, we're back home. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. 12.30 is when we woke up. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, I mean, we had a late night. We had to organize all this stuff. Your boy's got a hammer and a bunch of wood, and uh, we're ready to get to work. A little bit sleep deprived, but uh, we're ready to get to work, and I already picked out the spot for our house. I think it's right here. This is a beautiful little beach. We've got a nice little cove right here. It's away from all the clutter and the bird snares and everything else, so it's kind of our own little paradise on our paradise island and it overlooks shipwreck off in the distance i feel like that's this is a, a pretty good pretty good spot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here we're here to look for some wood foundations and i was messing with this a little bit you can actually build this out over the water so i'm gonna say let's let's have it like about here looks good we're gonna start there and i was i was thinking about it i mean Obviously right now we're still in a pretty pretty early stage of the game like we're we still like we're, we're Going out scavenging for resources and stuff. So I don't think we want to go too crazy with this. I think I'm gonna make a Two by two. I feel like that's a, a good, you know, it's big enough, but it's not too big It's not gonna waste too many resources to be able to put together because you guys can see here each foundation that we're making is taking four wood and then each floor on top of that is going to take four wood each wall is going to take three I believe so it's uh, it's no joke, but um, we're gonna make it happen. So here we go. Let's go wood window I'm gonna go in. I'm, I'm putting this thing It's gonna have windows all the way around and then one door on one side because we want to be able to see out Dude, this is this is gonna be cool. This is like one of those overwater bungalows in Bora Bora speaking of which can't wait to bring you guys those vlogs, but um this, yeah, this is this is gonna be awesome. So I say we put the door on this side. Let's go ahead and get a wood window here. This is pretty simple, the building process. I like it so far. So we've got all that. I don't know how much wood we have left. Looks like we've still got a decent amount. Still got at least a little bit. So here we go, another wood window here. I don't know if there's any benefit to doing windows. I mean, obviously you can see out, I don't know, like, I know you can do shelves and tables and all kinds of stuff like that, so I'm hoping you can put a shelf on a window wall. I'm not 100% sure if you can, but um, we're just going to go for it and see what happens. So here we go. We've got most of our walls up. Looks like we're out of wood. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm worried about. I mean, we just took a ton of wood from that island. We already had a pretty big pile over here, and you guys can see it's already dwindling down. We're going to use most of our wood here. I'll just have to go on another wood run at some point, but um, it's it's going to be worth it to have our own little house. Last little window here. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we are going to go to this. We are going to need the wood arch for a doorway. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. And then I also, I'm pretty sure I saw that there are stairs. So rather than having to jump our way in there, I think we can come in here and we can make, ooh, we need a lashing for that. We need wood steps and a wood door. We need two lashings. So we'll grab that and then we could put the, uh, the roof together. And then I think, that's gonna be our first house. I mean, it's not, we're not, like I said, I, I don't know if you can make like two story houses. Maybe you could put these stairs inside the house. Actually, let's, let's test that. Can you? Looks like you might be able to if that was a straight up wall. So that could be kind of cool. If we made a two, a two story at some point. We could even upgrade this thing, I believe. So there we go, we've got some steps in, looks good. Let's go ahead and make a door. We're gonna grab a wood door and put this in the frame. It's getting a little bit dark, so I try to hurry that up, and uh, bam, you guys can see this is our finished product. So uh, we've got on the interior a nice little two by two, 360 degree views out of the windows. You boys out here alone, we've got nothing to worry about but sharks and seagulls seeing us, so uh, don't have to worry about those nosy neighbors. We've got a nice little A-frame here. I couldn't figure out how to, how to fill these in, but I almost don't even want to. I feel like that'd bring in some nice airflow. Wouldn't get too hot. Um, but yeah, this, this is a decent start. If you take a look at some of the options in the building, I mean, they've got like the cool corner pieces. They've got some really cool roof caps and, and little crazy angles and stuff. So I think as we get more resources and as we're not as worried about saving resources, we're gonna be able to do some really cool stuff with this. We can just kind of like start tearing it down and remodeling piece by piece. But this is a good start. I mean, eventually we could put a sleeping bag in here. 
Pretty sure you can make a sleeping bag. We don't have enough cloth yet, but we can make a loom and get a sleeping bag in here. We could make some shelves, some chairs, little table to be able to eat our food at. We could even grab some of those, those storage containers and go and stack them in here, which could be kind of cool. But um, yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is it, our first home. It's not much, but it's better than sleeping over in this tiny little hut like we have been. So uh, I feel like it's, it's a bit of an upgrade. The sun is setting on a beautiful day. Our food and water and everything's still good. 5, 6 p.m. here, almost 6 o'clock. We're going to enjoy the sunset. We're going to admire our work. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. So like I said earlier, I think we are going to check out the, uh, the new update if we can, if we can keep our save. And um, I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.